All right there everyone, so today I am bringing my tips for GCSEs. It's just something, you know, I never really looked up any tips. I didn't really have any good guidance for GCSEs, but now I've come up with some decent tips myself. Obviously there's stuff online, but I just thought I'd put it out there just to help people a bit, because I didn't have help when I did it. I really, it was a bit of a shambles when I did it, but I thought I'd give my personal advice, so let's get into this then. So my first bit of advice is only focus on what you need to focus on. And what I mean by that is, Say if like for your college course what you want to do, you only need four C's, then focus on four subjects, work really, really hard at that. And also, uh, you want to really put effort into maths and English as well, so make them one of the four C's or above that you need. Um, because a lot of jobs ask for maths and English, you know, and a lot of universities ask for maths and English as well, and a lot of courses ask for English or maths, it depends what you want to do. And um, if you don't have them, you know, it's going to be quite difficult, and you don't want to be constantly retaking them, it'll just be an absolute pain and hassle. So just just focus on what you need to focus on, but make them to one of those things that you focus on. So if you need six Bs, try and get six Bs, but make maths and English two of those subjects, you know. Um, another tip is to do like easy ish subjects. You know, so I'm not trying to slate certain subjects, but like there's people who I know who they get an A in RE and they don't really do good at everything else, or they get an A in art and they don't do good at everything else, you know. And I'm not saying those are easy, uh, you know, you have to be skilled at art and you have to be very interested in RE to do well, but you know, with things like you know, like law, business studies, computer science, they're incredibly difficult, they're incredibly com complicated, so you might. If you're not really that academically great, you might want to go for things that people consider easier, or you know that a lot of people tend to do well in. Um, it, it's just to get you to college, isn't it? You know, because at college you either do one B tech or like focus on three A levels, which in some ways is an easier thing. It depends what you're doing in school and how much you need. If you're trying to do well in everything, I suppose trying to focus on three things for A levels or focus on one thing for B tech, you know, that's um. That's a lot easier. Uh, another bit of advice is in school, level two B techs. Um, unless it's something you're really passionate about, I would not advise them. That's another tip because colleges do not care about them whatsoever. Uh, you know, you can have a distinction in, I don't know, I know there is GCSE drama, but like um, I've heard of some people that like their drama course was like they got a distinction and it didn't count for anything. They still ended up on a lower course. You know, there's media and that's only like a, a B tech when everything should be the same everything should be the same in my opinion it shouldn't be like oh one thing means more than the other but sadly that's not the way it is to try to go for GCSEs because they'll probably mean more in the long run um, my next tip is try to realize that some things are just out of your control like you know not everyone's going to be the brain of Britain, not everyone's going to be the smartest person in the universe. You've got to realise that some of the things are just out of control. In my personal experience, I've never really been that academically good. Um, and the teaching wasn't really that good as well. At first I thought it was myself because um, I failed loads of mock tests. Well, I think I got an E. Yeah, I got an E in a few like maths and English mock tests. And then I got a D in the final maths and English. Um, none of the actual GCSE and I thought, Oh, when I go to college, there's just no point, there's no point. But, you know, I work really, really hard at English. I didn't really put that much effort in maths, and at the end of the level two I did, I managed to get maths and English. So, um, again, not like the best thing in the world, but, you know, it's better than not having them. So, yeah, you know, what I mean by all of that is that certain things are just out of your control. As I say, just natural ability, you know, some people just aren't as intelligent as others or really crap teaching and obviously in recent times, you know, with this whole pandemic, obviously that was just out of all the students' control and it's just been very difficult and it's a sad situation. And obviously there are some other things that are out of your control, like if you're ill um, on the day of the GCSE exam. Um, if people are putting loads of pressure on you, I mean, it's sort of in your control. You can sort of try and convince people to calm down and stop having a go and being like, you know, come on, stop getting on to me, stop making me nervous, like, I don't know, family or teachers or whoever. But at the end of the day, um, you know, anyone with kids who's watching out there, try not to put too much pressure on people, your kids or whoever or someone else's kids or your nephews or nieces. Don't put too much pressure on people. It doesn't do people any good. Just, you know, just tell them to try their best and you, whoever you are, if you're watching for advice or if you've already taken tests, whatever, 
Um, just everything with life in general, do your best, you know, don't try not to half ass things. If you do your best and give it your all and you still fail, then at least you gave your best, at least you can look in the mirror the next day and say, I gave it my all, I just can't cut it and that's that. At the end of the day, I could babble on for ages and ages and ages and ages and, you know, say stuff like, oh, take breaks, exercise, etc, 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 do things in moderation and all those things are absolutely true. But there is one thing that I want to leave you with that's very important in my opinion. It doesn't really matter too much the GCSEs, like there's people out there who have got no GCSEs and they're on absolutely mad money. And I don't mean celebrities, I mean certain people that I know, um, you know, they've made amazing money. Um, it really, that sort of thing really is down to work ethic. Obviously if you've got no GC GCSEs you can't become an astronaut, you can't be become some architect, you know, you can't your options are a lot, you know, more, your options are a lot smaller, like your options aren't as wide and as vast if you, you know, don't have good GCSEs, but there's still options, you can still make money, you can still work hard and you can still, you know, do cool things. Um, so yeah, you know, a, a lot of jobs do need maths and English though, but you can go back and retake them if you need to. Um, and I do mean like jobs that actually do pay where well, you do need like maths and English for them. Um, yeah, you know, at the end of the day, they don't matter too much though. Uh, I know this is obvious, but it's not life and death. People still make good money even though they haven't got any GCSEs or barely any GCSEs. And I don't mean celebrities. I could sit here all day and say, oh, Jeremy Clarkson's got loads of money. Oh, Moore's has got loads of money. But that's not the case. Money isn't everything, but it, it means, you know, a bit. It helps at the end of the day. And um, there are options if you haven't got GCSEs, you know. And at the end of the day, some people do a bit naff in their GCSEs, but they do a level one and a level two, and then level three, and then they go to uni, you know what I mean? Like, I know one dude who, I mean, he didn't have the best GCSEs because his school wasn't the best. I had to do level one, had to do level two, had to do two years of level three. He got three distinction stars, He just and he's doing phenomenal right now. He's at university, he's just an intelligent bloke, and. Well, obviously he's already an intelligent bloke, but the subjects that he did, he wasn't interested in. The school wasn't good, I'm assuming, about the interested bit. Um, because the thing that he's doing now, he's interested in. He's had a lot of opportunities to work with amazing people in the field he's gone into. So, you know, and he's a regular bloke, you know, and he's done amazing. So, um, yeah, you can still do well, trust me. Uh, but obviously do your best and try your best. I'm not saying just give up school and focus on something else. No, do your best, obviously. But, um, yeah. So those are my tips for GCSEs, this is the first time I've ever done a style of video like this when I've, I don't know, given out tips and advice. Uh, hopefully you all enjoyed, um, so yeah, uh, all I can say is thanks for watching, if you did enjoy please give it a like and a subscribe, maybe share it if you want, if you didn't enjoy uh, you can leave a dislike, you can not subscribe and you don't, obviously don't share it if you didn't enjoy. Uh, constructive criticism is always appreciated, if it's something that I can work on or do, I'll do my best to do it. Um, yeah, sorry for this long ramble and long out like end of the video kind of thing. It's just I uh, thought I'd get out there as it's my first video where I'm giving tips and all that. So um, yeah, have a good one and see ya.